And this is looking like it might be the end of the Pere Marquette Trail. Day 50, Sunday, June 19th, 2022. Hello, Baldwin, Michigan. Folks, I need your help. As you know, this is not just a daily video blog about one guy walking across North America. It's about something bigger than that. This is your exclusive behind-the-scenes look at the 2022 Legend of Pedestrio Walking Storytelling Book Tour. I mean, this is exciting stuff, even if it is happening at the speed of footsteps. And you're getting great content. I'm telling you things nobody else is going to tell you, like what it's like to go five days without a bath. I'll tell you what that's like. Everything itches. I got bug bites on top of bug bites. I got bug bites where no bug has ever bitten. It just feels like they've bitten me. I mean, who else is going to tell you something like that? But this is a word of mouth campaign to get the word out about a novel called The Legend of Pedestrio. And if you've read The Legend of Pedestrio or even just looked at the cover, you know that it's a little bit different. It's a little bit quirky. It's a little bit unusual. And it needs to find an audience who's a little bit quirky and different and unusual. And I know every one of you knows somebody out there who's like that. And if you could recommend this book to them, or better yet, buy them a copy, I bet they'd be grateful, and I would too. But there's another thing you could do to help. For every one person you know who would just love to read this book, there's a thousand more who've never heard of it and would love to read it. And the way you reach those people is by writing a review and posting it online on Goodreads or Amazon or any one of those online book sites. We're coming up on the thousand mile mark of this journey. So this is a good time to start picking up some momentum. And if you could help me with that, I'd be real grateful. Thanks. Well, this shortcut we found to keep us off the main road, this pretty much keeps us away from everything. This is real wild side out here. Just like that, we're back on U.S. 10. Traffic actually isn't too bad today, but after the last few days on that Pere Marquette rail trail, and the first half of today on the dirt roads, hiking through Wildside, it's a bit of a culture shock to come back out onto a, a numbered highway like this. We've got maybe 18 miles to go to get to Ludington. So we're kind of in the bonus miles right now. We could stop anytime we want to, but it's pretty early in the day to be stopping. And I'd just as soon get a few more miles in, make tomorrow's trek a little bit easier. 